Florida lawmakers are preparing for another special legislative session trying to deal with the state's property insurance crisis. Stop me if you've heard this one before. The governor today laid out proposals to correct the state's crippling insurance market. One issue he alluded to that is also gaining momentum is eliminating one-way attorney's fees. If taken away, it could make suing your insurer more expensive. Investigator Lewis Bolden has been following the insurance crisis for two years now. Lewis? Well, Ginger, we have heard over and over that excessive litigation associated with roofing schemes is to blame for skyrocketing insurance premiums. But a Brevard County woman says insurers denying legitimate claims are partially to blame. I don't really think the litigation is the people's fault. It's the insurance company's fault. Michelle Hosmer says before the 2021 hurricane season started, she had her roof inspected. I wanted to check and see if my roof was sound. She says the roofing company highlighted and circled hail damage believed to be from a 2019 storm. When she filed a claim with her insurance company of 10 years, the company agreed in this letter there was damage, but stated the damages were suggestive of wear and tear and they were unable to provide coverage, meaning claim denied. That my claim is, is made up, that they don't have to pay it. And I just felt like they were calling me a liar and it made me angry. Hosmer then called an adjuster who did his own inspection and took more pictures. And sent the insurance company a 72 page report with pictures and descriptions and all of that. And they still denied it. She then retained an attorney and filed a lawsuit for breach of contract. Less than a year later, they reached a settlement. Instead of just the roof price of $13,400, the insurance company paid $4,000 to the adjuster, $16,000 to Hosmer, and another $9,000 for her attorney's fees, which is $15,600 more than the price of the roof. For the most part, the insurance companies is doing that to themselves. If they would accept the claims instead of denying them right off the bat, there wouldn't be as much litigation. When we hear the term excessive litigation, she feels like insurers are partly to blame for that. There are always going to be disputes over claims. Mark Friedlander is with the Insurance Information Institute. The concern we have here in Florida is the disproportionate level of litigation. Florida makes up 9% of the nation's homeowners insurance claims, but 79% of the country's homeowners insurance lawsuits, according to Florida's Office of Insurance Regulation. It is a cash machine for some trial attorneys here in Florida. And the reason why is the one-way attorney fees. One-way attorney's fees are when insurers pay a homeowner's attorney's fees if the homeowner is successful in court after litigation. Former state senator Jeff Brandis told News 6 the state should change that law during the next special session. 70% of the dollars paid out by the insurance companies last year went to the trial bar. 20% went to their defense costs and only 10% went to homeowners. Hmm. There's something wrong with the math. Well, there are two ways this could go. Number one, dropping one-way attorney's fees means consumers could have to pay their own attorney's fees if they decide to sue their insurer. But there is a caveat. The legislature could do away with one-way attorney's fees for third parties like contractors, and the intent there is to stop bad actors from exploiting the statute with assignment of benefits. Lawmakers have set aside December 12th through the 16th for the special session. Of course, we'll continue to follow it. Matt and Ginger? I know you will. <laughs> the worry is if something like this passes, will insurance right. companies just fight everything knowing this? Yeah, absolutely. Right, Thank, Thank you, you. Louis.